Okay, this video is only for Seventh Day Adventists, and you're not going to like it. And I hope this video actually blesses you with an understanding that you need to get out of that church, and you need to get out of that church immediately. Check this out. This just came out recently. I Well, I don't know. I just got this the other day. Someone just sent this to me the other day. Oh, it looks like it's a couple of years old, and well, a year and a half old. It... it turns out, and by the way, I guess some people found out about this and noticed this new section here on the top. It says that the comments feature was turned off because people started doing the name calling thing because like the Catholics, they have no bridled tongue anymore. And I'm not saying all the SDAs are like this, uh, but it's, the number's getting larger where they'll literally attack and do what they can to try to shut you up. But check this out. This is a letter that the president of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, that's bad enough, a president of a church, but the president of the Seventh-day Adventist Church sent this to the Pope and literally calls him his holiness here. And he says, now check, what, check out what he says here in the second paragraph. It says the book, oh, and, and by the way, this is about uh, when the Pope was visiting in Philadelphia, and we had a bunch of SDR people out there too, handing out tracts and stuff like that, but he's uh, more or less reiterating in regards to his people, I guess, that were out there handing out the book, The Great Controversy. And if you're SDA and you actually read a Bible and understand Spirit of Prophecy, you know what The Great Controversy is all about, as well as the fact that it was prophesied that the leaders in the SDA church would start hating The Great Controversy and all the other books that were written uh, in the infancy of the church. Uh, but anyway, he said this to the Pope after calling him Your Holiness, he says, that book is entitled The Great Controversy. That volume was written in the 19th century at a time in the history of the United States when the relationship between Protestant and Catholic Christians was much less than ideal. Unfortunately, that book reflected various very regrettable negative aspects of that relationship. A predecessor of mine has noted that the anti-Catholic views that this book endorses have been relegated to the ash heap of history by current Adventist leaders and laypersons. And then he says, I currently hold the position of president of the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and in that capacity, I am writing you to extend the apologies from a leader of one group of Christians to another, asking for your understanding and forgiveness for the unfortunate actions of a small number of members of the Christian faith tradition which I represent. Well, the reason the number is small in that church is because every time a Seventh-day Adventist that really reads a Bible and understands spirit of prophecy approaches a leader in the church to try to tell them of the dangers that they're in and what they're doing from the pulpit is wrong, they kick him out of the church. And that's why he has no problem saying that a small number of members of the Christian faith tradition, which he represents, are doing this. But check this out. This is from um, Ted Wilson, I guess, right? I believe this is from uh, Ted Wilson. Yep, right there, Ted and N.C. Wilson. Now, check this out. If you go to remnantgod.org and you go down to SDA Apostasy, where this video is eventually going to end up anyway, um, I can't remember exactly where I have it on this site, but I think it's here. Uh, there it is. Neil C. Wilson is the one that said that the thought that the Pope is Antichrist has now been consigned to the historical trash heap so far as the Seventh-day Adventist Church is concerned. This is father and son, and he's just doing what his dad taught him to do. And with that said, I've got to ask you, Seventh-day Adventists, why are you still in that church? Why haven't you left? If you want more information, if you want a bunch of information, like on this side here at the uh, sdaapostasy.org, Yes, I have the videos of the two pastors declaring that Allah is God on camera and the Quran is just as holy as the Bible. I've got all sorts of uh, pictures. and Like, for example, if you go to Evidence and Pictures, where is that at? It's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. The first, what, dozen or so pictures up here are from the Adventist, the Seventh-day Adventist yearbook, the school yearbook. Uh, this is from where uh, Andrews University yearbook. Look at this. That's the Roman Catholic Jesus, the pagan hand signals and the pagan, uh, the orb of uh, Baal and all this stuff. The, the pictures are just loaded with pagan symbolism, and it's Roman Catholic. And, and here's one of the leaders that died recently in the uh, SDA church that's wearing the robe of a Jesuit. That's literally a Jesuit robe. And, um, and it gets worse.
there's there's some pictures in here that you're going to be somewhat surprised of. Uh, but uh, you might want to go through these. And then you also have uh, a, a stack of videos. I mean, there's all sorts of videos here. I'm not going to let it all load in. But there's even more here. Okay? And that's going to grow as well. But here's where you're going to want to hang out a little bit are these articles. I got over 300 on here now. I don't update this website as often because I'm kind of busy on RemedyGod.org. And so um, it might be a while before this video that I'm making now is going to be on here. But the, my point is this. If you want information in regards to the dangers of being an SDA now, and you do understand Spirit of Prophecy, you might want to check out this page. On here, there are tons of statements from Ellen White that you'll never hear from a Seventh-day Adventist pulpit because it proves what they're saying are lies in regards to the present state of the church. Thank you for watching. God bless.